All right, guys. Welcome to a, uh, a quick sketch video. So right now, I'm going to do the kind of an accelerated drawing of this item. Okay. So this item is actually called a coping saw. It's commonly used for detail cutting, and I think it's quite fitable for what's going to be the main topic of this little lesson. So remember that when you're doing the drawing, you know, know the overall dimensions. You can see six and a half by thirteen inches for this one. You can see my, how I set points, took different pauses to go ahead and get some rough measurements. And while this isn't perfectly to scale, it is a suitable sketch for us to go ahead and slow down and talk about um, detail drawings. And coping saw is kind of a good option because the way that a very thin blade is put into a saw, you know, the scale that we choose, we cannot put in the details of the teeth, maybe not the details of the catch mechanism or kind of the shapes and the contours of it. So what we need to think about is maybe when we have those details, okay, the way that we can go ahead and kind of focus on, say, the saw blade is if we draw kind of a circle okay, around it and have an A. Okay, something to go ahead and identify, like, what type of drawing is this? Okay. And we kind of have the arrows indicating, like, what we're going to show. We can then take, basically, this scale. Okay, so this is a, a 1 to 4 scale. A quarter inch is basically equal to 1 inch. And we can say, well, no, we really need to be able to show this as a 1 to 1 scale. So we can go ahead and start drawing out, say, the saw blade. Okay. And we don't need to do all of it. It's going to be kind of captured as a circular view, okay? just like we would actually like catch it. Um, and then we can go ahead and kind of put in the details. Okay. Um, so it helps when I actually draw the saw blade a bit better. So even though we couldn't catch this type of detail, um, being able to go ahead and kind of capture this okay, and just kind of imagine that we have like the whole circular view that we're trying to capture, you know, you got to be careful with the scale. But we can call this kind of the A drawing and that the scale of this one is more of a maybe a two to one ratio okay but even though this scale is applying to the overall drawing our a drawing is basically actually let's name it correctly okay. Okay. we can name the detail drawing and then identify the scale that's going to go with it okay so it's something useful when you need to go into a bit more of a specific detail, um, things that you couldn't necessarily capture at the same scale that you're working with, but um, it's a useful little trick to go ahead and uh, just know that it's an option. And it works particularly well in CAD software, but it's something you can still do in a hand sketch as well. So, hope this helps, and um, at least a quick explanation.